Hey, it's time for um tisti. Am I okay with that? Yes. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Mmm -hmm, Tisty, the show where I review albums of music, but they're not really reviews because I'm not that knowledgeable about music. I just like talking about it. And in this episode, we're going to be talking about Haru Nemuri's Haru Toshura. Haru Nemuri is an individual Japanese artist, a quite young female Japanese artist, who brought out her first album, Haru Toshura, uh, I believe a few months ago, I would say. I found out about this album just by scourging through, trying to look for some new music and everything, and I went into this album completely not knowing what the music was going to be. Like, if you look at the album cover right here, this this beautiful girl who I, I presume is Haru Nemuri herself, you would think, hmm, this is probably a J-pop album, or, you know, at best, a J-rock album. Let me just say, uh, actually listening to this entire album, I did not expect to hear what was actually on the album. Because what actually is on this album is a mixture of Japanese experimental music with experimental noise music with a very cute girl rapping over it. I know, what the fuck? It's very strange, honestly. Like, the only way I can describe it to those of you who may know it is like, if you take uh, Dalko's rapping, uh, Dalko who's a Japanese rapper, if you take Dalko and put that music on top of Melt Banana. That's that's the only way that I can describe it. If you know any of those two artists, then you'll know exactly what the fuck I'm talking about. But if you don't know any of those two artists, then uh, I guess I, I need to do an album review of those artists as well, huh? But basically, Harunemuri is an experimental musician who incorporates Japanese rap with experimental noise. Very, uh, almost sometimes a little bit of glitch hop and synth pop involved into it as well. A mixture of a lot of genres of music. And honestly, it's great. Like, I absolutely love this album. Uh, just the, the intricate rapping done by Harunemuri herself is just very cool. Her voice, which also very has a, a kawaii sound to it, is very cute, but is nicely juxtaposed with uh, the instrumentations that sound very clangy, sound very, sometimes sound very, very bubbly, which fits it perfectly, but also has a very strange aesthetic to it. And it's especially awesome when in songs like Naraste, you get Harunemuri actually screaming screaming in some sections. Yes, a cute girl going from small, quiet rapping to experimental music to straight up screaming. It's so fucking cool and weird. I love it. Even the transitional songs like ZZZ Part 3 has a kind of spoken word element to it almost. And even though the lyrics aren't exactly the most interesting or exactly the most deep that I have heard, like, Harunemuri tends to use a lot of the same kinds of motifs in all of her songs. Like, you know, she loves using the word Kamisama, which means God a lot. And, and I presume that because, you know, this entire album, I don't know if it's a concept album of sorts, but definitely with the recurring themes of things like Kamisama and sleeping and dreaming. It does seem like a concept album, but I don't actually think it is, so I don't know how to exactly critique that in any way, but uh, the sound of the actual instrumentation is very, very interesting and very, very cool, especially when incorporating that, again, with the mixture of all sorts of different genres from a very unique voice, I would have to say. It really does kind of make for a, ooh, very confronting, but very exciting album. Some songs are very short and very high impact, like the opening track, Make More Noise Of You, while the album ends with this huge catastrophic climax of Rokun Roru Wa Shinanai, which actually incorporates another band which I forgot the name of and I'll put it on the screen right now if you want to check it out. But in between, you also get stuff that straight up sounds like some pop hip-hop, j-pop, you know, Dalko kind of stuff with the song 19. So with it being the first album by Harunemuri, it did kind of seem like she was very much experimenting with how she wanted to go with things, so maybe that's the reason for the whole genre twist. So again, I'm, I am looking forward to what Harunemuri can bring onto the table because what I've heard so far is very, very interesting. All I'm hoping for in this next album, which I definitely can criticize, is her use of vocabulary. Definitely change it up. like. If she's gonna make a concept album, and if this is a concept album, that's completely fine. But if it's not a concept album, then she definitely starts needs need to experiment more with her lyrics as much as she is with her instrumentation. But yeah, that is Haru Nemuri's Haru to Shura. Is it good though? Yeah, it's alright.
all right. Definitely give it a listen if you do enjoy your more experimental stuff, if you do enjoy your Daoko stuff, but also want something a little bit harder and a little bit weirder. I think this album is definitely for you. Give this album a listen. Let me know what you think about it in the comments below. And you can also follow me on Twitter and recommend me the next album that you would like me to talk about in the next episode of Mmm Tisty by using that hashtag. You can see it in the title right there. You can see it below me right here. So go do it, motherfuckers. I'm sorry I called you that. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Peace!